have you seen or maybe talk a few minutes about how some of those drivers behaved, not just over the last decade, but perhaps especially in the last year, because I think a lot has gone on, it seems like, in the space. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's two things that are really important that's happened in the last year. Well, there's a lot of things really important that have happened, but you know, the, the one that's really important is we've hit just exceptionally low rates, right? So we actually were an all-time low uh, in February going into March uh, for the 10-year municipal bond. Um, why that's important is that, again, it starts to mess with that optionality, right? If, late, if rates are really low, um, basically every issuer that has bonds outstanding wants to call them and reissue bonds at a, at a new lower rate, right? And so it starts to screw with the maturity of bond portfolios, but you can also take advantage of it. Um, and so that's really important. Now what happens is when you got that really low rate, or we are at really low rates, and then we got this huge spike in rates in March, is you went from every single bond basically being on the docket to be called, all these new issues, um, to very, very quickly, um all of a sudden everyone's saying oh these bonds aren't a two-year bond with a two-year call these bonds are actually a 20-year bond because that's the actual final maturity of the bond and so you get this huge extension of those bonds too and again i, I apologize i know it's a little technical but it's really important because that's what leads to led to so much of that price drop in march was not just um obviously credit spreads went out dramatically but it was really this huge underlying shift in the underlying assumption that all these bonds are going to get called to none of these bonds are going to get called. And then the huge rally we've seen back is everyone saying, okay, yeah, all these bonds are going to get called again. Right. And so it's hard to see unless you're in the market, but it's, it's really, really fundamentally important um, in how you're managing your bond portfolio for um, all those outcomes. Right. And so, and, and what you're doing, when the market's saying all these bonds are going to get called and then what you're doing when they're saying none of these bonds are going to get called right you have to independently make your own decisions about what is what basically and then trade around that position around that so yeah that's interesting about the about the municipal bonds do get called a lot more like you mentioned which can change some of the dynamic there much more so than corporates or just treasuries 